Last Saturday, my guest Crystal and her husband will be celebrating their 15th wedding anniversary. Or will they? You see, Crystal reached out for my help proving her innocence and says there's only one way to prove it. We unlocked her phone. Everyone, welcome Crystal to the show. Hi, Crystal. How are you Hi. doing? Can have a hug? Yes. Nice to Hi, meet nice you. To meet you Please take well. a seat. So, Crystal, before we hear your side of this story, I want to take a look at a message that Larry left. I started getting suspicious phone calls about my wife, Crystal. One man claimed my wife was sleeping with my best friend. Ever since then, my wife been playing all kinds of games. My coworkers told me that Crystal was having an affair with one of their friends. Sneaking them in my man cave, sneaking them in my house, cooking breakfast for them and everything. They even showed me a porn video on Reddit at my wife's store. I have no reason to be confrontational to another man. So when I get home, I ask my wife directly. But Krista always giving me crazy attitude. She snaps at me when I ask her simple questions. She even had me in her phone as the devil. I've never done anything to this man, but once something gets in his head, it's there, it's no taking it out, he believes it. Mm -hmm. When he gets off work and I get off work, we're together all the time. Mm -hmm. How do I have time to do any of these things? Y'all a cute couple though. Thank you. Yeah. What happened with his friend? Somebody called him and told him I was sleeping with his friend. I'm gonna tell you about that. So Larry told me about his friend. His friend was married. He told me his friend was sleeping with a married woman. Mm -hmm. So that part we know, but I'm not the damn married woman that he's sleeping with. Mm. You talk to your friend, we seen him in Walmart. He confronted his friend, we're both right there, and his friend told him to his face. I think Crystal as a sister. I don't think of you as a brother because I don't appreciate people that are married that cheats on their wives or cheats on their husbands. So mm. he might think of me as a sister, but I don't even think of him as that. I think of you as a cheater because you was married. So you were very clear right there. Like the person you're suspicious of, you got us both here and we're telling you nothing's happened. Nothing's happened. Mm -hmm. Larry has taken a lot of losses. He lost his mom, his dad, his sister, his brother, family of five. He's the only one left. Oh, wow. When did, when did, he, when did he lose everyone? When was the last person that had passed? The last person that passed was his grandma. He lost her last year. I believe it was January the 3rd. So was constant loss. Constant losses, back to back. Year. Yeah. So why would I cheat on him when I feel like he has kids? Yeah, but as far as up close and personal, I feel like I'm the only thing Larry has left. Got to it. cheat on him will never happen. Before I cheat on him, I will leave him. But the hurt, hurt people, hurt people. Mm -hmm. Has he always been this way, confrontational towards you? Only when people start calling, playing on his phone, and that's just because they're haters. They hate our relationship. And so that's five years ago that started? That's about five years ago, five or six years ago, yeah. So has he ever spoken to somebody on the phone that said, hey, I'm sleeping with your wife, I'm no, talking to your wife? No, they'll call him, according to him, because I've never heard it, he'll say they'll say something and hang up, or they'll whisper it and hang up. No, speak up. So listen, why did Larry, and my producer told me that Larry put cameras up in your house last month? We put cameras outside the house. I encouraged it, because people were telling him that when he leaves and go to work, I'm sneaking people in his man cave. The man cave is back that's there. His, that's his the man shed, cave yes. right there. Uh -huh. Telling him that um, I'm sneaking people in the man cave. I'm cooking, him, cooking people breakfast. Like, put the cameras up. All right, well, in the video, um, Larry mentioned something about a porn video. Oh, Did yeah, you know? I'm on porn. He, of course, apparently me and... that's a strong accusation to say about your wife of 15 years. Yeah, and evidently, I'm doing porn between the hours of 7 and 3.30. In the morning? And in, the, in the afternoon. In the afternoon. With him on the phone. Got he it. has to be on the phone because he can oh, call Oh, because at nighttime y'all together, so we're together. when you're at work, so, you're When I'm off porn. work, we're together, so I can't be doing it then, so it has to be during my work hours. I work at a retirement home. Camera's up everywhere. No way I got mm -hmm. time to do some damn porn. Yes. But <laughs> I'm doing porn, some site called Reddit. We're, I'm doing porn, and apparently we're sending it to his phone for confirmation. Mm -hmm. I don't know. How you doing, Mr. Corona? I'm good, man. Thank All you for right. being here. All right. All right, listen, you told my producers that you have brought me receipts. What are these receipts? What yes, these? sir. I, I need receipts. to see these receipts. Me too. Larry, this is blurred out. Can this, I see the receipts? This is, this is, this is blurry. Uh, this is Karamo. Do y'all see me? <laughs> what am I looking at? Mr. Karamo. What am I looking at, What Larry? you looking at is when I, when I go on Google Lens, Google went on Lens. Google Lens, clicked on my wife's picture, it pulls up that picture right there. But also, you, but another you can't man. see anything. No, that's why I never, never ever claimed that to be her. I only asked her quick, simple questions about the situations. It's Instead crazy. of her giving me an uh, explanation for being your husband, I, I think I deserve me. an explanation. She chooses to grab and go crazy about it. I, I don't know. Don't ask me nothing. 
Don't ask me. Don't ask me nothing. If this is what you see, don't ask if me nothing. That's the explanation I get. Then you leave it up here to whatever I think then. So if she was to say, baby, that's not me. He wouldn't hear that. Would you hear that? No. I have to yell and scream and go berserk. He hears me then. I want to ask you, I'm asking you, would you hear that? If she said... Yes, sir, I will hear that. And you would receive true. it. But just because she say it ain't doesn't mean it leaves the brain So he did not hear that. He didn't hear it. What, what other pics did you see on Google? It's another one. It's another pitch, when I, like I say, when I click on her face, it shows a woman in the background with her ass up. Mind you. Butt naked. So you said sure. something that I got to go back to. You said that she's lied about stuff. Is there other things she's lied about to you? She has lied about plenty of things to me. Like what? Like, I wake up, ding, ding, the phone, look. Booking.com confirming, confirming your stay. I'm like, well, are you staying? Booking hotel rooms? No, no, no. Is that true? Be all kinds Have you of booked stuff. Ho secret hotel rooms? No. And you said you saw a porn of her on Reddit? On Reddit. I went, I wake up one morning, I don't have a Reddit account. And neither do I. So when I wake up my phone, I got two Reddit messages. Mm -hmm. So when I, what's Reddit? I click on Reddit, it's a whole video. So as I'm looking... That's a confirmation that I need it. Uh, so I do looking, porn, and I send it to my husband Well, you going to let me talk? Then you to have confirm, your moment. Are you going to let me talk, or are you okay. going to talk over there? I just want to Do you want to tell the whole that. story, or can I tell mine? You, you can tell it. Like I said, when I clicked on Reddit, that I see a whole porn video. Mind you, the guy that's in question is the one that posted the video. So Whoever when I'm looking... Hmm, you see hmm. me. Of course you're not going to be blamed, because if I seen you, I wouldn't have to come here. Okay? So, but, but you've been I'm with your wife for 15 on. years. Do you, it wasn't her body. You know your partner's body. I know my partner's body. And like yeah. I say, they blurred it out good. What, what, what made me really feel like it was my wife, at the end, it say, do you, you want, want some tacos? tacos? <laughs> I'm like, tacos? I yeah, got your tacos. tacos. That, was my, that, was my, that was my first initial friend. Tacos? I got tacos. Then the very you next... You're not giving me tacos. God, can I talk? You're not giving me tacos after The morning. next day... The first thing is on, on Reddit is I, I sent the receipts in when she asked me, do I want a taco? Person in the porn said, do you want a taco? And then the next day, ironically, she said, do you want a taco? The next day, ironically, <laughs> the person posted back oh, on Reddit. Not me. When, a, when, when, a, when, a, when she asked, do you want a taco? The person, not me. I didn't say anything so about the person, a taco. Okay, that's a little convoluted right there. No, yeah. no. Do you think that a lot of this stuff that's popping up on the phone could be just spam? That you, you, you get? It's, it's mighty coincidence. It's but, mighty coincidence, Mr. Karamo. All right, so you've heard rumors about her as well. What are the rumors you've heard? Rumors of her sneaking me in, in my man cave. Do you imagine how hard it is to go to work and feel like your Gotta wife have men in your home cooking breakfast for him? He claiming to be laying up in your bed. But isn't she at work as well? That's what she claimed. He's on the phone with me. Listen, when you got a job and you can tell me your cat didn't lick his pole this morning tired and they let you right I'm, off, I'm tired that's of what it. it. That's I'm, what I'm it tired is. Of it. So it, it I have sense. reasons. I have seen. I couldn't. I didn't submit this, but when you schedule eighty hours, but you're only working forty six. Because I'm trying to get off work to be with your ass. Well, why? We we why? Fit, we've been together forever. You don't have to get off the work to be for me. Well, listen. It's time to find out what we found in Crystal's phone. All right. When it came to GPS, we found zero suspicious activity. She has always been where she said she'd been at the time based on pings of where her phone was. Okay? So, all the questions about is she at work, you saying she's coming home early, she's always been at work, she's always been where she said she was. All right, when it comes to... All right, when it comes to photos, we did find one nude photo. But that photo was sent to you, Larry. <laughs> that was a photo she sent to you. <laughs> now, when it came to text messages, this one I did find interesting. We did find 15 text messages. But these text messages, Larry, were from you accusing your wife of consistently cheating, even though every time the phone pinged, she was at work. I want to pull, and this is since January 1st, I saw these 15 texts. I want to pull these up. This is you. 
Baby, you wouldn't happen to be on a local dating site to keep it popping on my phone. Meet local men. I knew that wasn't me. Just asking, and somehow I wish you could um, you could dead all your sites. Just feel like people are going to try to um, still try to contact you. Baby, I'm not on any kind of dating site. Not one. Never have. I've told you something not right. Because okay, baby, just asking. So you're sending her an accusation. Can I see the other one? You just a liar. How did I start something by asking you? Why you look at your schedule and start rubbing your hands, this becomes abusive in language. This is what you're sending to your wife, who has told you over and over again that she's not doing anything. What is going on in your mind right now? It's not right. I shouldn't have to go through all of this to prove something to my husband that I told him. It take, you tell him that he believes it. I tell him it means nothing. How am I supposed to take that? It's not right. Do you see the pain that this is causing your wife? I do, I do. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, it's, it's what I feel at the time, Grandma. Larry, the thing is, is well, every time you ask her, you're accusing her, and you're, you're, you're causing damage in your, in your damage. relationship. You're damaging your, your relationship. You're damaging a woman who has been true to you, who loves you. And, and the thing is, is that I started asking specific questions. Yes. And you gave me my own conclusion without me even having to go any deeper. Yeah. During this time, you've lost a lot of family members. Yes. And I'm so sorry about that. But what's happening is that as you start losing family members, there's something that sometimes happens to us as human beings where we feel like someone else is going to leave us. Yeah. So when we feel like they're going to possibly leave us, we start to push them away ahead of time. I need you to, I need you to hear this. Yes. You're trying to push away your wife so that you don't feel like someone else is gonna leave you. Yes. Your own words to me were, I fear losing her. Yes. But your wife is letting you know you're not losing her. She is here for you. She's trying to do everything she everything. can to prove to you she's there, for, she's there for you. I understand that you are grieving so much loss and I don't even think you start to process all the loss that you've experienced. Yes. Am I right? You're right, you're right. Who are you being able to talk to about all this loss? Nobody. No one. Nobody. I want to offer you some therapy to start dealing with the grief that you've been experiencing. Yes. Would you accept that? Yes. 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 Thank you for accepting yes. that. I will. I'm glad you accepted that therapy because yes. I think it's going to be a big thing for you to, to really start to help you to grow mm -hmm. and to start to process all the grief you're experiencing. Awesome. Yes. And I think it's also going to be good for you to have him being able to talk to somebody because you don't deserve to be in this position. But I honor you as a woman that still is committed to her man and standing by her man, even it's though he's my, my baby. <laughs> yeah, I honor you. You got a good woman here. Thank don't you. push her away. Thank you're, you. welcome. Thank you. you're, welcome. you're welcome, baby. You're welcome. Hold up, hold up. Where are you going? I know you want to watch more Karamo, so click here to subscribe and click here to watch more so we can keep talking and growing, friends. I love you.